All right, we're going to determine if a set of points is a function, and then we're also going to talk about the domain range of the set. And I have three different examples here. There's my first set of points, there's another one, and there's a third one down there. So let's look at this first set of points. Is the relation a function? So first you need to remember that in an ordered pair, the x comes first. Okay, just like the alphabet x, y, z, x comes first. So the first number is the x, the second number is the y. Now, to be a function, you can only have one y value for every x value. So if you see an x with two different y's, it's not a function. Okay, now look at this. Do you see the same x having two different y's? I sure do. I see 4 as an x with 1 as a y, and then 4 as an x with 7 as a y. Okay, so this one is not a function. All right, and now it's also asking about the domain and the range. So remember, your domain is all your x values. So in this case, it would be 4, 3, and then 4 again. You don't have to write it again. We already have it once. So in my domain are the numbers 3 and 4. And then the range is all your y values. So it would be 1, 2, and 7. Okay, so let me make a little note here. The domain is the x values, and the range are, are the y values. Okay, so take a second. Look at this second set of numbers. Maybe you want to pause it and see if you can answer the questions. Is it a function? What's the do domain? And what's the range? OK, so is it a function? I'm looking at all my x values. If I see the same x value with two different y values, it's not a function. But I don't have the same x value more than once. So this one is going to be perfectly fine. This one is going to be yes. Okay, yes, it is a function. All right, the domain are all the x values, so that's going to be 1, 5, and 8. And the range is all the y values, so that's going to be 1, 2, and 8. All right, maybe give it a pause, take a look at the the set of points at the bottom and see if you can answer the three questions. Is it a function? Okay, remember, to be a function, you can only have one y value for every x value. So if you see an x value with two different y values, it's not a function. Now when I look at my x values, I see a 7, I see a 5, and I see a 2. I do not see the same x value happening more than once. I know that the y's are the same, but they're not the same for one x value. They're not different for one x value. Okay, so this one is fine. This one is a function. I'm just going to do a little computer magic here. Yes, it is a function. All right. I have the same y for different x's, but that's okay. I just can't have the same x with different y's. Now, the domain here is going to be all of your x values. I'll put them in order. I don't think you need to, but I'll do it. 2, 5, and 7. And your range is all the y values, which in this case is just 0. Okay, It happens three times. It's the same 0. I only need to put it once. 